All right, we are back at the airport. Um, I've got one last light to put up in the tail. That finally came in today, so I'm gonna do that. And then when it gets good and dark, we're gonna get this whole thing lit up like a Christmas tree. First things first, I gotta get this piece here, down, and here. Just find the holes, rivet in place, and then the brand new LED will go in. So I already measured everything out and marked the holes. At this point, it's just pretty simple. Just drill everything, pre-co that in place, and rivet that in place. Do that one more time. <laughs> this is why you don't bring your wife with you. She's very distracting. I'm just gonna go ahead and use these uh, blind rivets again because there's no sense in trying to shoot a rivet in there. There's no way I can get a bucking bar behind it anyways. And these will work just as good. And this is pretty straightforward. You just screw it into that plate, you get a plug. I'm gonna have to wire this up into the tail and then I will put that back on. Now that I got the right screwdriver, let's try that again. All right, so we got everything wired up. I went ahead and ops checked it first so I didn't make myself look like a fool on camera. But I'm going to go ahead and move my truck back over here out of the way and I'm going to get some, some head-on shots of this whole thing lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm looking forward to this. this I am going to go ahead and light up the nav lights and the strobe lights first so y'all can see those. And then once it's just a little bit darker, I'll go ahead and flip on the landing lights. I will flip those onto strobe though because I think it looks really cool. God, that's brutal. <laughs> Nothing shows up. It's also bright as fuck. Do you like my commentary? I'll check for it. Check for it. No, it's good. Now what are we going to do? The negative ghost rider, the pattern is full. This looks cool as shit. One more angle from the back. <laughs> I was going to take some of the audio out and edit a lot of this, but if you listen, you can hear my wife and stepson messing around in the background, and it was too funny. I thought I might just go ahead and leave it. I know y'all can't see much of this, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my light so you can see what I added. I added this panel right there for the uh, Quasar 7000 lumen LED tips. How dare you? Okay, you gotta pardon the shake for a second, but there is the left nav light all lit up. As you can see, we got the tail figured out. We got the, I looked right at that, so I'm blind right now. Got the tail all lit up. And then if we come around to this side, we've again got the strobe. I looked at that again, we've got this strobe lit up nice and bright, so. It's uh, almost dark enough for me to get some, some real good footage. It's not coming out how dark it is on camera. It's actually a lot darker here than it seems to be on the camera. So hopefully, hopefully it gets dark real fast and I, I can take some better photos of this because I want you to see what it actually looks like, how much brighter these are than the original lights. Okay, I'm gonna film my last piece. I'm gonna turn on the original landing light and the original taxi light that came with the Cessna and then I'm going to turn on the taxi the Quasar wingtip taxi lights then the Quasar wingtip landing lights so this is going to be bright all right so here we got our taxi light here we have our original landing light then we've got our Quasar taxi lights and our Quasar landing lights. Golly. I know that's probably not coming out on camera, but if I stand right here, this little swath out in front of me in this softer yellow is your original lights, which are right there. And then that one is your left landing light. 
And if I come over here to the right landing light, you can see the swath it's putting out. I mean, if you look, I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but if you look way out there, like I'm seeing the reflectors on the dumpster and the, the electrical transformer and all that kind of stuff way out there, way out there in the grass. So it is lit up that it actually, that actually looks really bright. I'm surprised. I did not think they were going to be that much brighter than the original LEDs that were in it, but that's impressive. So hopefully now when one of the owners, uh, Fred, hopefully when he takes it up to Mount Pleasant and lands at night, he will be able to see the runway, which is kind of the whole point of these wingtips. They were very expensive. We got them from Stein Aviation. They are Quasar 7,000 lumen LED slash taxi lights. I think they're 5,000 lumens in their taxi configuration and 7,000 lumens in their landing. So I don't know how LED lights and numbers work, but I'm assuming that's 14,000 lumens overall. So I realize it's probably a short video, but I think it's cool. So if you liked it, leave us a like, leave us a comment. If this is something you want to do with your, your aircraft, feel free to, you know, reach out to me by email or whatever it is. As always, be easy.